What's up, y'all? I'll bring you guys another video. Just bring you guys a uh, quick post fight thoughts video of the Jay Harris versus Hector Gabriel Flores fight. This fight well, recently took place over in Cardiff, Wales. The fight was shown live over here in the United States of America on ESPN. Uh, you can just go to ESPN Plus right now and watch the whole, ent whole entire event there if you want. Um, and I believe in the UK they showed it on IFL TV. But anyway, uh, fight was scheduled for 10 rounds and fight lasted 6 rounds with Hector. Gabriel Flores stopping Jay Harris in the sixth round, knocking him out actually. Knocking him out with a body shot. Jay Harris just can't take body shots, man. Throughout the fight, I thought it was pretty competitive. A lot of back and forth action between the two, close rounds between uh, Harris and Hector. Um, you can argue that Harris was winning those uh, closer rounds because he was landing the cleaner punches and landed more punches. And, you know, Flores was uh, pushing the fight. Uh, cutting off the ring, staying in the inside, and you know the way he switches punches too, the way he switches angles, gave him those big opportunities to land those big body shots that dropped Jay Harris. And <sighs> Harris just can't take a body man. He just can't take body shots properly. Two fights in a row now where he got stopped because of body shots. And with this loss, he suffers his third loss in his pro career at the age of 31 years old. Honestly. I don't think Jay Harris is going to go anywhere anymore at this point. I think he's just not cut out for a world level. Um, seems like whenever he fought outside, you know, against big names, um, you know, fighting in a world level f type of fight against Julio Cesar Martinez, against Ricardo Rafael Sandoval, Hector Gabriel Flores, who was actually undefeated going into this fight. I just don't think he's cut out for it, man. I think he's just more of a British level fighter, Jay Harris. And, you know, uh, it's it's hard for me to see him being actually successful. I can see him being a British champion, but not a world level type of fight. I don't really see him being successful in the world level. Um, if he decides to continue fighting, uh, I might. I'd like to see him just compete in the British level, uh, because if he continues to fight in the top level of the world, uh, he'll, he'll just get knocked out. People know now he 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 just can't take body shots, and um, you know it's he's. People were still, you know, people were still clapping for him. People were still celebrating him uh, in the end of the uh, in the end of this fight. But um, but yeah, it's two losses in a row. It's not looking good, man. It's not. As for Hector Gabriel Flores, big props to him from Mexico. Came, went to the UK, went to Wales, and stopped the hometown fighter. I wonder how the judges had it leading up to that sixth round. I wonder how, how their scorecard looked. But yeah, he, with this fight, he improves to 19 0, 4 draws, 10 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Yes, he's fought scrub fighters throughout his career. Uh, but, you know, he, he showed in this fight that he can compete at a decent level. At, at this level, he can. And um, it'll be interesting to see him get in the mix against top names at 108 pounds. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for the man, man. I'm happy for Hector. He went out there and uh, he did it. He did it. Didn't let the fight go to the scorecards. Didn't fight. Let to, didn't uh, let the fight be decided by the judges. And uh, he pulled off the uh, big win over in Wales. So if you saw the fight again, you can watch it here. And uh, I'm not sure if IFL TV will allow it for, um, you know, everybody uh, around the world. But in the states, uh, I think you need to go to ESPN Plus. In the in the UK, British fight fans go to IFL TV. Shout out to IFL TV, actually. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.